Alright. Huh. We're responsible, chap. The commander must have dropped me off here. After I got drunk, I'd better go see down in the reception area what's going on. I hope I haven't caused a chap too much trouble. He's uh, always hard working. Seems he doesn't know when to stop. Okay. Let's see here. Um, maybe something at the reception desk. No one's around. Uh, this is quite troubling. But nothing for a dog boy emperor to handle at this moment in time. Let's go find out. Ah, here we go. Me and Rachel are at the restaurant. Rachel restaurant? The Korean brothers, please come by. I know we have business to attend to. So, let's make it quick. I got a date tonight. Oh well. Seems I better not keep him waiting. That's the last thing I want to do. He gets quite temperamental when people are late. Ah, Commander. I'm here now. Can we talk about that business? Sorry to interrupt your morning uh, well, brunch. Shall we get started? Um, sure, Mary. Uh, help your... Bell? What you still doing here? I thought our business was over. Ah, uh, so you must be Mary Weatherly, aka Mary Mary Doll. I'm Rachel, Devon's future wife. Have a seat, will you? Uh, thank you for letting me have a seat, but I don't have time for breakfast. Uh, Commander, talk or not has done missing. I need you to find the chap. Overall, you may be in deep head trouble after what Junk has done with his bar, and he can use some that at this point in time. I think Junk tried to pay off the loan by himself. What? How? Why? I need answers! Tell me! I think overall, Junk tried to pay off the bar's loans with a... associate of yours. Big Boom Daddy D, of course? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 not Big Boom Daddy D. The galactic criminal overworld that literally has a fetish for explosives selling them and buying them on the black market. Any type of explosive, every type of explosive that ever exists. Taka, what have you done and junk, you moron? Thank you, Commander. I knew I could count on you. Overall, Taka did get it over his head when he disappeared for a while, and Junk did what he did. It's not entirely their fault. You must understand this. People fall on hard times all the time. Uh, yes, darling. Just go see Taka. I can wait for our date another day. Obviously, like, saving lines is what we do, and that's far more important. You gotta go see Taka. After all, he is your senpai, one of your greatest idols. If anything, he's a really funny man, and I loved housing Autumn in a bridge. So, if not for me, if not for Mary, for everyone else, you take Big Boom Daddy D. I know you can. You've beaten him before. You'll beat him again. After all, you're the only man that's been able to beat him in a duel let alone, and everything else. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all talk like they're old friends. Is he an old friend, Commander? I wonder, do y'all have a history? That was a long time ago. My first overall cadet. I failed him. I remember it like yesterday. Almost feels like it. A little strange. Let me reminisce. Yeah. Wow. Looks like you done screwed up, cadet. Another dead body. How many time I uh, many times do I have to tell you when you're on a mission, you don't screw up like this, especially with innocent civilians involved. I'm just not only disappointed, but I expected better from you. Innocent lives are at stake, and the last thing you need is more innocent blood spelled on a mission. You're er, gonna get punished for this one. I can't save you on that. 
Look, if it's your grandpa's idea, Sid Kramer, it was his idea to throw a newbie out on a new mission in the long run. And it's not my fault. Person jumped in front of the bullet. And even more stuff. Oh, you think they would have sent an expert like you instead of an amateur like me? I, I'm done here. We're done. I leave you see. Ever since then, he's turned to a life of crime. He's become one of the big crime bosses across the northern part of the galaxy. He's become a real troublemaker. Don't worry, Mary. I'll get Taka back. Leave it to me. Thank you, Commander. You're a good man. All right, Big Boom Daddy D. Where is he? Where's Taka? Right now! I swear I'll shove my 15 size men boots so far up your ass, your mom is gonna be jealous. Ah, so you look you for my latest man servant. How adorable. No worries. How about me, you little wager? If you want some little pal <laughs> off front back, then overall, how about a duel? A friendly competition between protege and protege. If I win, you become my student in crime. If I lose, Taka or not belongs to you. You do whatever you want. Do we have a deal? Deal! Get ready to duel! Let's see who gets to go first. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Go ahead, make my deal. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, dark. Try again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, dark. Try again. I'll win the next one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Haha, looks like I won. Time to duel. I'm going first. Not before I actually maximum C. Drop every monster on a special summon. He gives it the draw card. You gotta play this smart. I'll set one card face down. Then I'll normal summon. Dragunity Sentence. Use its effect to pitch a Dragunity card. To special summon a Dragunity card. And I'll end my turn with that. Of course you will. It's my turn to draw. I'll start things off by a tribute to Burial. Ah, Sankra Zone. Now we'll be able to attack. Oh, tricky of you. It's your move. You're darn right it is. Now, uh, what are you doing? I see you're using your monsters to fight the steel card, huh? Typical. Uh, dang it, not again. I'll move some and drag you any phalanx. Well, talking about all oh, the Virgin Mary. I took a, a, my dragon of the storm. Let's see you stop this one. Ditching your powerful monster for a monster in defense mode, eh? Typical. I do a drag unity glow by sending a drag unity tuner er, er, onto my field. Now, synchro summon. Drag unity Varna. I summon you. Ride the winds of Storms of the Winds. Now, bring back my Dragoonity monster and equip him. Then I'll use Vedrana's special ability. Making sure of my options first. Discarding it, allowing it to get double the attack. But I'm not done. I bring back my monster in defense mode. And then I'll synchro... I can't synchro something. Crush. Instead, I'll go to battle and attack for now. It's your move. I end my turn. All right, my turn. My time deep comes back and steals time from death. Next, I do it as a vent to take another card. Ah, your deck's looking thin. I'll special summon my time deep monster, event monster. And now, go and end my turn. Your dragon returns to your hand. I know, I know. Looks like you're activating a trap card. How typical. How special. I'll summon my dragon ruler back to the field. Scratch that. Instead, I'll just set a card face down. Go to my battle phase. 
and attack your time thief. So much for that strategy, huh? In my turn. It's fine, Moo. I'll activate my time thief. Special ability just steal another card. I activate my trump card. Infinite and permanent. It negates your monster's effects until the end of the turn. Let's see you own up for that one. Draft. I'll overlay into another time thief. And in my turn. Didn't have an answer for that one, did you? Oh well, go ahead. Take another card or two. I'm still planning to win this duel and talk us freedom. My move. I'll link summon away my two monsters to activate my Dragoonity Link Monsters effect to add a Dragon's Ravine. But before then, using Synchro Zone to return my Synchro Monster as a tuner. I'll add Dragon's Ravine to the hand. Now I'll activate Dragon's Ravine, and then I'll use its special ability, allowing me to ditch one card to draw one Dragoonity monster from my deck. I'll choose... Hmm. Dragoonity Sentence. With Dragoonity Sentence now summon to my side of the field, I can ditch one card. Now I can Synchro Summon for that of a golden dragon with its wings of legendary might. Now I'll activate my dragon's legendary power to banish your monster. Now I'll special summon my uh, dragoonity dragon from my hand. I'll activate my dragoonity special ability again to banish your last monster. Prepare! Here comes the boom! I attacked you directly with 3300! This duel has come to a close! You lose! Alright, alright. A deal is a deal. I'm a man of my word after all. It means nothing in my criminal organization if I don't keep my word. Taka's all yours, boys! Alright, Taka. Let's get you home. I'm sure- Or oh, overall, Kimrai's waiting for you. You two are pretty tight after all. But are y'all that tight? By the way, where's Big Boom Daddy D? Did he get away again? God dang it, what a headache. <sighs> this is when I go soft, I'm going on an old friend. Soft? Old friend? That old friend ended up kidnapping me. Are you freaking serious, Commander? Ah, I hardly had some funky ones, but not this funky. Oh, don't worry about it, Tonka. Now, you want a free home ride home or not? It's gonna move on it. You got a long way back to Earth. All right. Daddy, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I want something to eat. In the long run, you're daddy now. I'm not the daddy of E2E. Jesus Christ. For Canada's sake. Why does everyone call me daddy? It annoys me. You, you're daddy now, you're daddy now, you give me your daddy. I ain't daddy anymore. I just want to go home and have uh, time with Tim Ride and cookies and milk. <laughs> wow, and I thought you were a bigger man than me, but oh boy, I need to get you home before you literally pee yourself. Ah, uh, you know what? He's a pretty swell guy, but in the long run, I really can't stand it. Uh, and that big boom daddy D. Also, Chunk, when I get my hands a hold of you, you're gonna learn what Chunk in the trunk really means. But the commander bailed me out of my debt. Down! Yeah, I, 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 John, but I get my hands all over you on the strangle you.